we're in Macy's right now. Mm -hmm. We picked out this coat for him, which it, we feel Ooh. like it's gonna be a really good coat. It's very nice. So between this one and this one, and they don't have his size on this one. Plus, this, this one, one is, is really puffy, and, it's got and like we know that with car inside. seats, it's better to have, you know, no coat, but I mean, we're gonna go with a very light coat. It's not puffy. And um, also, this he, one, can wear, he can wear this one like throughout the winter and not just when it's, it's like a blizzard. And this coat is like blizzard type of coat. Yeah, like, and it's, this, this one is reversible, even though he probably never wear the reverse side. I told him that if we have like a little girl in the future, she then she could that. wear the reversible but then again, side. I don't want to buy my baby girl her own stuff. She got like a super pink coat. That coat. Before <laughs> turning on the camera, we have just got a workout because this little quick. guy right here I'm trying to tell you, this baby. little kid he, he was out of his stroller we let him out and he went crazy he, he cannot say stay still like, no he does he, not stay still when you when you have this guy in the store he will take off. we were trying to try the coat on him and it was like the hardest thing ever look at him excited he just ready to go Go, go, go. On the move, on the move. Where is he? Up oh, there he is. <laughs> Look at him, not happy. like what 15 20 years I bet was it fun Papa was it fun yeah he was so confused he's like what is going on yeah I bet okay right. okay take him out that way so we had to do the number one thing you should do when you come to the mall get a Cinnabon I needed a treat after being with this guy you tiring bro you tire people out <laughs> He's trying to get in there, but he wants me to pick him up and put him in there. <laughs> Look at him, he's gonna jump on my arm. Just let him see it one more time. <laughs> we back in the food court again for the second time. Mr. Man had to eat something. It's the second thing that you should get every time you go to the food court at the mall. Chinese, baby. Preferably Panda Express if you can. We all ate off of his, uh, his kid's meal. It comes in this little thing. We ate it all. It was all gone. Yeah, he had a kid's meal with like one side and a whole bunch of rice and he ended up eating all, pretty much so. No, we actually ate about half of the rice. Is that it? He ate a quarter of the rice. We ate the rest of it. It seemed like he ate much more than that. But I guess we ate the majority of it, huh? We good now. This guy just does not want to be in the stroller, man. He don't do the stroller thing too well in the mall with a lot of people around. He likes to roam and see and shop, you know, kind of like his daddy. Good morning. So we are still in Chicago. Mata's about to go get some food. He's about to go get some babas. But right now he's just walking around with Nassim. Nassim looks so cute. As y'all know, he likes to do this at home. He was just snapping his fingers and clapping his hands. Oh, look what we found. Hey! <laughs> He's like, I want to walk some more. Okay, come on, but I'll see y'all later. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> oh, He's slip. so strong. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> he got to hold on to the coat. Yeah. 
Damn, he's trying to Sit fall. Back. <laughs> that. Oh, switch direction. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is he doing? He don't want to get out. He doesn't want to get out. He's protesting. He's like, I'm gonna get as comfortable in this chair. <laughs> Just let him. Let him struggle. Look, there he goes. <laughs> Say, I could do it. I could do it, mommy and daddy. Huh? I'm a strong boy. Just came back from Baba's. Here's my chicken Philly. I've already started banging on my fries with the mild sauce. If you're, if you're from Chicago, you know somebody from Chicago, you know about that. Which hers looks like a, like more of a presentable picture yeah. than mine, because I'm already dog mine out a little bit. But And mine fell. In the car. Oh, did it? Yeah, it was on top, but it fell off. But it looks yeah. very good. You ready to eat? Nothing doesn't like to eat nasty, fries. Boy. All type of stuff in there. Maybe. But yeah, so we gonna eat y'all. He ate a fry. Good job. He don't know what to do with it. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> you sure was eating them fruit snacks yesterday when I was giving them to him. Yeah. I don't know why he don't. Actually, Look, and I don't this is why. what you do, bro. You just always put your nasty little mouth on somebody's clothes and Check get food out. all over it. We are now leaving Chicago. Bye bye, Shy. I know that y'all always Shy ask, City. or not always, but some of y'all have asked when we come to Chicago, can we like introduce Amaya's family? But we don't do that because they're not super comfortable with like being on camera. Y'all probably seen his brother before. But maybe not his mom, but yeah, like we respect that. So hopefully y'all respect that. Papa, get but out we're of about here. to go. Come on. Now Sam is trying to get in the toilet. <laughs> we're gonna go get in the car for this long drive. Four hours. I'm not saying it's already what six o'clock out there? What is it? Five? Four thirty here? It's five o'clock here, six o'clock in Michigan, so it's gonna be a nice little drive. Pick me up. Yeah, you need to pick me up. <laughs> he ready to go. Hey y'all. So we stopped at our first spot, um, our midway point. Amma just went in to get gas. And while we were driving, I took out my computer so I could try to edit. But I started to feel really nauseous and just not good like I just didn't feel good um and I think it was because I was looking down at the c computer screen I've never had motion sickness but I feel like that's what I was experiencing because once I put the computer away then I gradually started to feel better that feeling is starting to ease down and now I just think that I'm just pretty hungry so there goes that and Ahmad is driving pretty much the whole way back because I drove pretty much the whole way there because he was so sleepy. We'll see. If he does get tired, then I will take over if I have to. Because I'm not tired. But, yeah. Just ready to be home. Well, Aces Angels, we have made it to our destination. We're back home now. It was a magnificent weekend. We got to shop. Like that. Cause man, that's how I talk. It was a magnificent weekend. We got to that's shop. Like we got to eat. We got to socialize with family. We got our Sunday night dinner here. Two for six whoppers, of course. Popeye's trying to get him a. He's trying to get him a little taste because he loves whoppers <laughs> just as much as we do. He's never really. Even <laughs> but he's trying. He's like he was trying to climb on the couch, like to get my whopper. Want some whopper? But he already ate. He did eat. We didn't eat. He ate, he ate Slim Jims and yogurt no, in the car. He didn't. He, he did have yogurt though. Mommy had Slim Jim. It was like Slim Jim with cheese, but the cheese was so nasty. Was it nasty? Yeah, it was. Was it regular Slim Jim or was it Jack Link? Jack Link. Mm. I actually like Jack Link. I ain't never had it with the, cheese. Not the cheese part. No, the cheese. It was like a cheese stick and then the. the Beef stick. Ooh. But 
the cheese stick did not taste good. I spit it. Oh, two separate? There's like one cheese, one beef? Yeah. Like mm, the cheese part. Eat it together. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> you gonna get up there and get the... Oh, my God. You knocking off the edge protectors, man. Uh, no, no. <laughs> That's what you need to be telling yourself. No, I'm not saying don't get up there. <laughs> Nassim is just... Now he won't go sleep on the table. Nassim is a little, um, little daredevil. He little is, man. mischievous boy. He just put his whole leg... <laughs> That's not what we do. You okay. gotta have manners. This is so random. So yesterday, y'all, I went to the gas station. To warm up some food that we had but i didn't have a fork to like mix it around as it got hot or whatever to, to make sure it warmed through so i went back to the car got a fork so look i guess the guy thought i was up to like something the attendant the clerk, the clerk attendant whatever and he just came like just casually like to stand by me i don't know it was weird he could have just said hi or something. You know, he could he didn't he didn't have to make it all weird. But I guess he thought that I was doing something that I shouldn't be doing. Probably like stealing or something. But that wasn't the case. So I I pro I talked to him before he could say anything to me. And I said, Oh, you wanna just know what I'm doing over here? Oh, I'm warming up food. <laughs> did he shake his head yes like tell me or did he say anything no else? i just said it i said oh you want to know what i'm doing over here i'm warming up food and that's it yeah and he like it still okay. didn't open his mouth he never talked and then he just walked away okay and then i walked out of the store and i said have a nice day <laughs> petty you a petty, petty but yeah i mean i understood where he was coming from you know because the way that it happened it was kind of weird but at the same time you could at least talk i mean whatever anyways that's all i have to say that was my rant for today <laughs> always gotta get one of those in okay so also another thing that i wanted to tell y'all about is that so when you have a child that is seen at, to the world as different specifically for us there are little moments that we experience that really brings like joy to our hearts to know that like when our child is put in to, into situations that his differences are not pointed out. We experienced one of those moments at Best Buy um, yesterday. We didn't record it just because, I mean, you know, you, I don't want to just start recording people's kids. But anyways, there was a little boy and his mom seen the scene and they were both the same age. And so we just started talking and then she asked, you know, like, hey, is he talking yet? Because they were just hurt. Nassim is 21 months. Her son was 20 months old. And um, we told her no. And she said that she was going to start speech with her son. And so we said, oh, he's going to start speech either. And honestly, she didn't see Nassim as being different. And um, she actually didn't know notice that there was anything different about him um and then the two two of them just the two kids they just started like playing with each other and that scene was um trying to walk in circles around the kid to like get the other kid to like follow him or chase him and then I seen would go past him and like look back to see if the kid was coming behind him to chase him I mean it was really cute and like I said like if you're not in the situation like it's hard to understand how nice those moments are when you just get to realize that like even though you know my child has this like label put on them there's nothing different about him he is just a kid who's just doing what kids do and even in the slightest delays that he has it 
it doesn't mean anything right now and I know that y'all say we don't I don't have to we don't have to explain ourselves and all of that but I, I I do want to share those those thoughts those moments this is what this is about this is about like documenting and I say these things for myself too so that when I look back on this stuff I can just remember the things that happened along the way and then also um in my state of mind at that time because this is a journey and i want to document it and i want to be able to look back and reflect um when that time in the future comes so yeah just thought i would share that with y'all hope y'all enjoyed the vlog remember dare to be different because what makes you different makes you beautiful we love y'all we love y'all we thank y'all make sure you subscribe Click the bell. Hey! Bow. Bow. <laughs> That's his version. That. That. <laughs>